You're listening to Fast Facts Ask the Expert with Michelle Hudson Hoover, brought to you in part by GC America. Stay tuned after the episode for a special offer. Welcome everyone into Fast Facts Ask the Expert, Oral Systemic Edition with Michelle Hudson Hoover. By the way, buddy, that sounds beautiful, but it's different than what I know you as. Congratulations on that. (laughs) Thank you so much. I love it. I'm actually beginning to transition into saying Michelle Hoover, and uh, I really get giddy even still when I say that. I just love being married to my best friend. Oh, I love it too. All right. So we have you on this episode. This is the first episode for your edition, and I'm really excited about it because we're going around asking these experts about questions or technicalities that we as hygienists need to know, or maybe there's something that we can use to help dis- have discussions with our patients. And so we have a kind of a tough first question. Are you ready for it? Shoot. Okay, here we go. I feel like hygienists have a hard time maybe explaining to their patients the connection between heart disease and periodontal disease. And, and maybe the reason why they do it is because they don't understand it themselves. So can you explain what that what the real connection is there? Okay, so This is really a lot of fun and it's really big and uh, I'm really excited to be sharing it with you and don't laugh at me, Andrew, because I know you are. So we know inflammation, we know bacteria plays a role. We know that there's an immune response. What we don't talk about is the endothelial dysfunction, which is leading to arterial disease. And what does this mean? So you have this triad of pathogenesis. And so the first stage of that is going to be what we call the serum lipoprotein concentration. And I know it's really big and we're not used to that conversation, but what you need to know is that periodontal sufferers have twice as much of this small dense LDL. So just think cholesterol. And when they have this, that APOB, which is just think about a vehicle, will double the risk for arterial disease. The second part of that is endothelial permeability. Well, we understand what that means when it's an oral microbiome. So now I want you to think about the endothelium. We know that high risk periodontal pathogens are going to generate the inflammation inflammatory response, so lipopolysaccharides, and it's going to trigger that immune response, right? And then last, and this is what we really do not learn. So let's take that inner layer of, which is called the binding intima. And we know that these periodontal pathogens make that little area stickier and increases lipid invasions. So this bad cholesterol has greater potential for being trapped and it creates plaque deposits, tripling the risk for arterial dysfunction. And we know that as much as 50% of heart attack is due to, or at least a connection, sorry, a connection to periodontal disease. I love it. How about that? You are so brilliant. No, this is great. I'm sure people are going to have more questions about this. I know that you're you're speaking and lecturing and all that kind of stuff, but if someone wanted to just reach out to you, what's the best way for them to reach out to you? Michelle at RDH Health, or you can call me, <laughs> which we can put that in there too. Awesome. Well, thank you very much for being here. Thanks so much. Thank you for listening to this episode of Fast Facts, Ask the Expert. Today's episode is brought to you in part by GC America, the brilliant minds behind the MI Paste family of products. For our listeners this month, they have a special offer. When you purchase two MI Paste products, you can get the new MI Paste Perio for free. So whether you're using MI Paste Kids, MI Paste Plus, MI Paste One, whatever you prefer, you can now try out the MI Paste Perio. Simply let your GC rep know about this special offer and they will make it happen. Have a wonderful day.